I'm Anil Kumar and here is another practice test question for grade 10 students on quadratic equations. The question here is, determine roots of the quadratic equation 2 times x minus 1 whole square minus 18 equals to 0. Now whenever we say roots of equation, we are trying to find the solution, right, or the x-intercepts. So let us solve this question. We have 2 times x minus 1 whole square minus 18 equals to 0. Now the strategy here is we'll take 18 to the right side divide by 2 square root and add 1. So these are the steps to be followed. You can actually pause the video follow these steps get the answer and check with my solution right. So first step 18 on the other side so we have 2 x minus 1 whole square equals to 18 right. So add 18 both sides. Now divide by 2 so we get x minus 1 whole square equals to 18 divided by 2 which is 9. Now square both square root both sides so we have x minus 1 equals to square root of 9. Whenever you do square root you have to write plus and minus and you know square root of 9 is 3 so we'll write plus and minus 3. So we basically have this equation right. So we have x minus 1 equals to 3 and we also have x minus 1 equals to minus 3. So these are the two equations. Let us solve both of them. x equals to 3 plus 1 which is 4. Here x is equals to minus 3 plus 1 which is minus 2, right? So we get two solutions and we'll write down our answer as x is equals to 4 and x equals to minus 2. So these are the roots, right? So these are the roots of the equation means x intercepts right x intercepts so if you sketch this graph then those are the points where the graph of this parabola represented by quadratic equation will cross the x axis i hope you understand and appreciate it right so basically the graph you can sketch the graph to test it out will be a parabola opening upwards correct kind of like this y intercept is minus 18 x is, is at minus 1, right? This is at minus 1. And if you, let me just uh, draw the x-axis, what you will notice is that the x-intercepts will be at minus 2 and at 4, and at 4, correct? So that is what you will notice. And this is obviously your vertex, which is at 1, 1, minus 18. So that is how you are going to uh, get the graph of this function uh, from here, correct? Okay? So that is how you should be getting your graph. I hope that really helps you to visualize what we've just done. Thank you and all the best.